I'm driving. Thank you. Hi, how are y'all? How are everybody doing? Look, I'm over here in the north side. It's the dirty north side. <laughs> the old rugged where the west begins. Alright, so you can hear my voice. Like, I'm sure you, I'm, I'm driving right now. So I'm going to put y'all down for a second. And I'm just going to talk to y'all. So if y'all can hear the sound of my voice, as long as you can. So I'm here right now. And just to talk to y'all a little bit about how things are going. Just know that I've seen a lot of political signs and the political signs that I've seen, majority, there are a lot of black campaigners, there are just so many. So what I say is be very suspicious. These are the ones that the Democrats, I call it the new Democratic Party, the all black party, like BLM, it's a Black Panther, just they are involved, nobody else, and if you don't commit to them, you don't salute them. And you are not a Democrat. And if you don't salute, you don't bow down to a black or a non-white person, then you're nothing. You don't have nothing to do with the Democrats, and you cannot be a Democratic Party. So that that is what I call the new Democratic Party. It's the new. It's it's a black party. That's what I. That's how I see it. And yes, I have seen all these signs that they have here out here around. It's just sign after sign, and everything that I've seen, people that are running here in and around my city, they're all all non-white on the Democratic side, on the Democratic side. And on the Republican side, well, we have various kinds, we have various. But now, be suspicious, be very aware of who you vote in, because there has been supposedly rumored, and which I have seen as well, I have noticed that the Democrats are trying to bring in infiltrators in the Republican parties. So they're bringing on Hispanics, they're bringing on Asians, they're bringing on non-white people, non-Caucasians, non-Anglos into our Republican party to bring it down, and to bring in a turmoil. So we have here, you know, anybody who's non-white, they're wanting to bring in to infiltrate into the Republican party on its stance and, and completely bring it down. And that's what I had seen. I'm about to pull over right now so I can talk to you more about it. That's just a little bit what's on my mind. I'm over here in the North Fort Worth. But yeah, just be wary, wary about that. Know who you're voting for. Know who's running. Know who wants to run. Before they even get into running, we always have to check and see who these people are. You have to turn that down. I'm on the phone, please. And what are they about? Who have they been around? What are they about? Who have they been supporting? What have they voted in? You know, what's not just their name, not just because they're they're good looking people, not just because, you know, your friend said so, and I've said this before to a number of people, and and it's it remains the same. It remains the same. Oh, you see my blankets back there. My my little blanket. In case it get cold at night, because sometimes I'm here until nighttime. So I'm gonna take off my messy belt. So I'm pulled over on park right now. So I got my sweater because it gets very cold at night. It gets hot in the day and, and then cold at night. It gets hot again and then cold. So I, I bring in various things so it won't be too, too hot or cold. And then also my interchanging clothes. So what I was going to say is that always be wary of who you're bringing into, you know, into your groups, into the, and who you're voting for. Oh, voting. And 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 I, I would just be welcome. I would just say to be watchful and who's out there. And we can't we can't just we can't give a chance to you know and give a we can't give a foothold to the enemy. We can't give an inch to you know people who we don't know who they are. We can't once we give an inch, well, then we get a foot, and we we give the whole party away, and then it it becomes ruins. It would bring our party down. So just be very suspicious of people. You know, question people, non-white people, non-Anglos, non-Europeans. Question people who look like me. See, I'm on this arm, I'm really, really dark. Uh, you know, dark hair, darker skin color, darker hair, eyes, whatever. And such and such. Somebody who is non-white, non-blonde hair, non-white white skin, you know, blue eyes. You know, the whole nine yards. So question those who are coming into the Republican Party, into the group, conservative par party. You have to be questioning them. 
people who are darker than that, people who, who are, you know, dark, darker skin. And so we do have to question them. We do have to question that. Not not just question that. Question them. You have to see who they are. What what are they doing? Uh, because Democrats bring them, and those are the ones that they're after, who they want to bring in, to lie to them and say, hey, the Republicans are racist. So come to us. Come to us, and we'll make it better for you. And we will not lie to you. But whoa and behold know that they are hypocrites where are they at right now if you have moved out of your neighborhood just know the little people it's hard for them to move on it's hard for them to move up the, the slaves and the poorer people of the, the streets and the ghetto and the hood how they call it the neighborhood is of the broke poor neighborhood just as such as um, I'm in right now look at this look at this area look at how junk it is look how ridiculously down it is in ruins and still sloppiness you know and that's how my political place has been here in my neighborhood neck of the words i don't know if you can see me or not it's hard for anybody to see me right now hold on okay hopefully y'all can still see me all right so it, as i was saying was basically that where are they at right now are they in big houses? Are they in big mansions? Where are these democratic politicians? I don't see them nowhere here, right? So where are they at? I don't see them coming over here to help their brothers and sisters. They might put a program out there, you know, to deceive them and to try to bring them in and say, and sweet, speak sweet little nothings to them and lie to them, deceive them. But, and then they just use them for whatever, lie to them, control them, and just spit them out next person move on to the next one that's how the democratic works party works and i'm just you know trying to get myself ready right now because i'm about to head on out and see what my list is and see who my people are to talk around here about my conservatism my republican party because right here right now we are wanting to get in abbott so that's what i'm doing here right now but just be very wary of who you bring in all right because i speak to democratic people you know, I, I have a few family members in my own family, on my mom's side, just a few of them. On my dad's side, we have a majority of them. And where, and then, where are they at? Like, they speak this, this, and that, and where are they at? How come they're not helping someone to get work, provide for their family? And these people over here, to make sense of it all, to make things better over here. Not to leave it trashy, not to leave it wrecked down, not to leave homeless bums around. Instead of instead of that, they could pull them out from the ground and go help them find jobs and go give them work. And that's what they can do. I'm trying to talk faster because I only have a limited time. Just a few seconds. And I wanted to talk to you really quickly about this. So if you can hear the, the, vo the sound of my voice right now, just always be careful who you bring in. This is just something, a message that I had to let everybody know. And I'm going to put this on YouTube. And I hope to, I hope and, and, and pray it. it goes viral. You know, whether you believe in God or not, I believe God will give this to the right people that it needs to be, that they need to hear. You know, that needs to hear this word. And basically that's it. And it's not my cries and pleads to be, oh, I'm begging everybody. No. And this is what something that I have seen throughout the many years almost 40 years and even my hometown here in Texas I don't want to see the city where it's going and it's going in ruins all I hear is that you know there's crime here there's just the streets are terrible and, and nobody's making it better as far as I know the whole this hole in the city will go down the only thing I have seen that's really really nice is the west part of it and far north of it everything else is just being in ruins and that is the crazy political area and people that's over it. They're playing politics. Why can't they come here and live in these neighborhoods? No, they don't. They don't want to because they're hypocrites. They're liars and thieves. They're liars and thieves. They want to play just political games with people's minds and heads and, and their hearts too. And break people's spirits and their, hurt their feelings, right? They actually just rent or use people's addresses just so they say they live here. And so there goes the lie right there. Guys, I want to thank y'all for hearing this and y'all have a great day. God bless. Take care.